I've grown in a community where everyone was uh, kept to themselves. It was just um, fight for me, survive for myself. It was survival. And once I got involved with Global Potential, I was surprised to see that a lot of people were concerned about each other and a lot of people were actually open-minded to learn about new cultures. When you have purpose in your life, you're able to, the, even when, like I was just saying, go out to be lawyers, doctors, teachers, engineers, when you go out to be those things, when you have a purpose that grounds you in not just doing for yourself, but doing for other people who don't have that opportunity, it brings that joy and happiness in your life. I've traveled to Nicaragua, teaching the English class that I taught. Like I taught kids who were like seven or eight years old, so I got to know like a lot of them how they think. And in Nicaragua, in that community, it's called El Hatillo specifically. Like they don't have as we're not they're not as privileged as kids in like New York City in terms of like in regards to like education. You know, most of the time there's like a high dropout rate in Nicaragua, especially in that community. A lot of kids after like high school, like they tend to drop out. So basically, the kids expressed to me, oh, they still want to continue going to school. They want to become professors, professors, doctors. They want to be, they want to be professional and successful in life. So it, it was amazing just like getting to know the kids. If you know who you are, then you are very important, very influential, and you are power in yourself. While I was abroad in Dominican Republic, I noticed some, um, not mistreatments, just certain things that were not um, right in the community. There were some Dominicans and Haitians and Haitians descent who were there who were not being treated right by the government and by Dominican citizens themselves. Not all, but some were just mistreated. And I feel that that was wrong, so I myself, I. I and a friend of mine named Alia, we created a documentary about the subject. Tout temps c'est nous nous était na fait noé. Vous êtes à coup euh président yo chef bataille yo pas garder nos pour rien. We made sure that the, for the seven weeks we were there, we got in the footage, pictures and everything that we needed so we can make sure that we created something so the world could see what was going on and how we could help change it and how we could change the mentality of certain people who do not see the whole picture. Comme si li fait me réfléchir pour moi que on ca et des pays avant me penser que me pas ca faire rien pour pays avant programme ça. Mais comme si au fur et à mesure m'a réfléchir, moi comme si j'ai plusieurs moyens pour me passer pour m'aider pays même un petit simple bagage ca faire m'aider pays au fur et à mesure m'a réfléchir. What is your community? What to you is your community? Now that I got all these experiences, I hope to like, like I just don't want to keep it. Like now I'm like, I'm motivated to start my own nonprofit organization where kids like myself who came from like low income backgrounds, like they will have the opportunity to travel and learn about different cultures and, and, and continue to impact change throughout the communities.